Farah and her amazing coat of towels. <laughs> Grab yourself a cuppa and a digestive and take notes. If you still haven't left for uni yet and you're just getting those last couple of bits together or you're already at uni and you've noticed that you've got a couple of things missing, I'm here to give you my tips on how to prepare for moving away and living away for university and drama school and what you need to prepare. So, the first category is bathroom and cleaning. Now, I know cleanliness isn't a new thing. <laughs> Be a bit embarrassing if we were just starting to realise how important keeping clean is, but now more than ever, it is so important to keep cleaning standards high in your accommodation and you need to play your part as well as the staff who are maintaining the building. Hand soap galore. Toilet fresheners. Wipes for any surface, but please try to get plastic free or biodegradable ones because better for the environment. Disinfectants. Now, I don't have a problem, but the flora, I mean. It smells great, don't it? Air fresheners, but always double check with your accommodation because of their fire safety regulations. Some air fresheners and aerosols might set off your fire alarms and no one wants to be that person. Kitchen cleaners. Now, I know you might think, oh, why do I need all of this stuff? But think about it. If someone's cooking or someone's drinking and they make a mess and the last thing you want is sticky puddles of ugh all over your kitchen tables. So clean it up, wipe it away, kill the germs, keep your kitchen spaces clean. And again, floor cleaners. You just don't want to be waiting for the cleaning staff to come and do their shift and you have to wait with all of this mess around. So just cleaning it away straight away just makes it easier and you're killing all the germs and you're just making the area safe for everybody to be in. Bleach. Cream cleaners. Bathroom bleach. Because I have seen some questionable uni bathrooms before and they know exactly who I'm referring to. Yeah. <sighs> And you're probably thinking, Farah, why on earth, like, you must have spent so much money on all of this cleaning stuff, like, why is it necessary? Mm -mm -mm. No. Poundland, Wilco's, reduced to clear section, discounts, just shop around. Don't grab the nearest one you can find and think, ooh, £1.60, that's great. Like, no, 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 go to the next shop and get the one that's 75p. So it honestly goes a long way. Okay, and we have some more stuff in here. Toilet brushes, 50p. Mr. Sheen, a bit of polish, a pound. Sponges, literally like 50p. A pound. Poundland. There's just so many things that you can get for a pound. Like, just go to Poundland and just have a field day. Might have spent a bit more than I thought I was going to spend, but it's honestly so worth it. Like, bin liners. Reduced to clear, where are these from? Marks and Spencers, probably, I think they were 50p. Like, just shop around, there are so many places you can get a bargain from, it's great. And again, just a couple more shower bits, got these cute little shower puffs from Ikea. Poundland, got these for a pound. Like we see on the reduced labels here, 50p, 62p. You can't go wrong, reduced to clear. Ooh, these are cool. These are little shower suction cups things from ikea you can stick them on your shower wall and the little hook pops out so you can hang maybe a dressing gown or a little shower caddy if that's what you're hanging on to it so yeah very cool and only 20p in the clearance so all good what else got some deodorant cans one pound ten some body butter 75p oh and lip balms i tell you now all that sea air is gonna make my lips crusty. <laughs> I'm so bad at getting dry lips, so these will definitely come in handy and a bargain, so you can't go wrong. Toothbrush holder from Poundland. Yet again, another bit of organization for your bathroom and a pound, so you can't go wrong. Yes, and not forgetting the massive amount of towels that I have, bath towels, hand towels, all of that, face cloths, tea towels. Lots of towels! And a very nice little, little bath mat. Got this from B&M. Absolute bargain. I think it cost me about 
six quid. It's great, and it's grey, and I love grey. And... Okay, so next we're going to move on to bedroom, and one thing you're definitely going to need for your bedroom is a duvet. Now, I would recommend getting a high TOG on a duvet because it's going to be cold, you're coming to university in about September, October time, and it is going to get cold very quickly. And if you're hot, just take it off, but don't buy a cheap, like, really thin one because it's just not going to do you any good. And you don't want to be freezing your nips off in winter. No sorry. So get yourself a decent one. I got this one from Next. It cost me £17. Probably a little bit pricey, but an investment because it's going to keep me warm and I know it's good quality. So duvet, high TOG, they're with the best ones for you. I literally just stepped over my stuff and grabbed my bed post and I broke the bloody thing. Look! It's just super glued on there. Ugh. Ugh. Didn't know my own strength. Perfect. And here we have some more bedding. We have some pillowcases, a cheap like fitted sheet from Ikea. I think this cost me less than a fiver. Another fitted sheet. This was half price in Tesco. Just find bargains. I would rarely ever pay full price for anything if I was preparing to go to uni. So bargain hunting, it's the one. I also got this really cute teddy bear fleece duvet set. It is so soft and it's two of my favourite colours, pink and grey. It also comes with a pillowcase and I think this was down £12.50 from £30. So yet again, another bargain we love. Uh, a couple of uh, bedding from Ikea, which the great quality. You can tell I'm not going to do a lot of laundry well, whilst I'm at uni. This is not going to happen. Although a little bit cheeky because Ikea put this one in the wrong place. So I thought it was only £12. Turns out it was like £22. So a little bit sneaky. Mm, Ikea, bad. <laughs> but I just got it anyway because I needed it. And a mattress protector. Now look at this. Look. £4.99 from TJ Hughes, you can't go wrong and you need a mattress protector just for that extra layer and they honestly come in handy so I would definitely shop around and try and get a bargain but if not invest in a decent one. I also got a very nice pink rug from Ikea, very very soft, just adding those extra touches to your room for comfort honestly makes so much difference and I'm pretty sure I paid less than a tenner for this so yet again you can't go wrong. And I got this lovely white orchid plant from Ikea. I believe this cost me around £10 and it's another great decor just to add to your room for that little extra touch. I also got this pink vase from Next Home and I think this was about £12. And just some little storage boxes to keep your space organised. I've got a shower caddy. I got this from Wilco. It's a very decent size for keeping all your shower gels, shampoos, all that kind of stuff. Um, a little organiser. Got this from Wilco, I think it was a pound. Great for keeping things like makeup, skincare, and just really making sure you know where everything is in your room because moving in is hectic. And the last thing you want is to unpack everything and think, wait, where did I put my foundation? So, organisers are a great shell and shop around for a bargain. Got these three from Tesco, they're 175 each. And again, a really decent size, like you could fit like a couple of small notebooks in there organize any of your little bits and bobs so yeah storage boxes are really helpful just for spacing out everything you need putting everything in its place and then at least you know where it is and you can see where it is so yeah storage boxes another great shout now one thing i need to remember to do is organize my clothes and pack them before i leave but nah, we'll forget about that for now i <laughs> don't want to deal with that right now and now we're going to move on to the kitchen stuff now you can discuss this with your flatmates, some people might be bringing their own things, things you might be able to share, make sure you have a group chat with your flat so you can communicate and just get a gauge of who is bringing what. But if you'd like to bring your own things then pay attention because I'll be going through a list of my kitchen stuff that I am bringing with me. Okay, we have a cutlery set from Ikea, again quite cheap. And it's great to have it around because everybody loses their cutlery at uni. Like, you'll start with about 30 knives and forks and then end the year with one fork. <laughs> Things will go missing, so keep that in mind when you're buying your own and just keep them somewhere safe. Microwavable noodle bowl. I got this from TK Maxx. It cost me a fiver and this will come in handy because I love me some instant ramen. So I'll be using this for most of the year. Although, to be honest, I would like to do some cooking, but if I'm feeling lazy, I've got this, and then I could just make my food. 
some very nice sets of glasses. You can get these really cheap from Poundland. Yet again, a set of three for a pound. You can't go wrong having these to handy. As again, with the cutlery, they will go missing. They will break probably definitely will break. <laughs> so just have a couple of sets of glasses nearby. I also got a really cheap knife set with a vegetable peeler. I got this again from TJ Hughes. Cost me about a tenner, but it's marble coated and it comes with a vegetable peeler. So for a tenner, you can't really go wrong. Sturdy, probably lasts me the whole year. And just another thing, you don't want to be stuck without any the right cutlery or the right knives when you're cooking. So shop for a bargain and try and find a cheap knife set that looks decent. Bin liners. Again, an absolute bargain. Got 25 in each. These cost me 62 pence. I got them in the reduced to clear at Marks and Spencers. Bin liners are something that you should look for that are good quality because you could buy a pack and think great they're cheap they're fine and then you put something in it and it just just rips you don't want that so look for a bargain but look for some decent ones at the same time oven gloves because uni students are prolific at just reaching their hand into the oven and getting it out because they don't think it's that hot buy yourself an oven glove save yourself the third degree burns cheese grater because i love me some cheese baking tray yet again got this really cheap from tj hughes i think this cost me about three quid it's decent it's good quality and it's also non-stick so get yourself some cooking and baking trays also got this pan mat from ikea these are great it's made of silicone and it just means you can pop your pots and pans down on your surfaces without burning them or putting marks in them because you don't want to start burning holes in your kitchen counters because that might annoy your accommodation stuff so definitely invest in one of these now, this does apply to university students as well, but as a drama school student, we are constantly going to be moving, exercising, trying to be healthy. So, I have made it my mission this year to definitely try and meal plan as best as I can so I eat healthily and I make sure I have a balanced diet. So, with that, you know what's coming. Tupperwares! All of the Tupperwares. And if you look on the label here, make sure it is dishwasher safe make sure it's microwavable and make sure it is able to go in the freezer. <laughs> oh, watch me use none of these this year. <laughs> Two sets of chopping boards from Ikea. One for me, one for veg. Two in a pack for a pound. Pretty good. Ladles, spatulas. A tin opener, because you do not want to get to uni and have all your tin food and be that person that's trying to jam the side of it with a fork and think, why did I not buy a tin opener? Get one, get them really cheap from Poundland, discuss who in your flat's going to buy one because you don't need about 10 for each person, but a tin opener is an essential item, so get one. Some tongs, also coming in handy for cooking and another basic item for your kitchen. Some decent sized cups cooking scissors, kitchen scissors, and we've got a kitchen organizer from Ikea. This is great for keeping your ladles, spatulas, tongs, mashers. I have one of these at home already. They're really handy for keeping everything together. And I'm pretty sure it's stainless steel, so it will last a long time. I also find that these really come in handy. These are insect catchers and they are so, so effective. These ones you can attach to your ceiling and they hang down like the piece of tape and they work really well. If you're in accommodation, if you think in the area mm, might have a bit of a fly problem, then put some of these on your ceiling. Just make sure you don't damage anything. And these ones are little flowers that you can stick on the windows and the flies are attracted to it. It just keeps the pests out. Already this whole situation going on right now and keeping safe and keeping clean, the last thing you want is flies buzzing around your kitchen and just making even more of a mess. Oops. Now, this is a very good find. If anybody knows the brand Chili's, they know they are very good water bottles, but they are still quite expensive. So I went bargain hunting in TK Maxx and came across this vacuum insulated thermal bottle. Now I got this for a tenner. It normally retails at about 18 pound and it says it's leak proof. It's double walled stainless steel. It's BPA free, which is also great. And it has a twist lock. 
to make sure that nothing leaks when you are out. So yeah, another great find, great for drama school students, water, soup, coffee, you need to keep it hot, you need to keep it cold. Therma bottles, always a great shout. Now, same again with cutlery and other items like that. Just double check with your flatmate who is bringing what. Now, I've got my non-stick frying pan right here, and I also have my giant wok that I got from TK Maxx. It was another really good bargain. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but, oh, here we go. I paid a tenner for it, and they normally retail at about 20 quid. So, again, make me some nice stir fries whilst I'm at uni. And always double check with your accommodation what kind of frying pans you can use because some are gas, some require an induction pan which is magnetic and this one is compatible with induction pans as well. So make sure they can cope with electric, gas, ceramic, induction or halogen. Just double check which hob type your accommodation has because the last thing you want to do is buy one and then get there and then it's the wrong one because you've wasted your money. So always double check. And just a couple more essential items for you to think about whilst prepping and packing. We have a nice little set of bowls from Ikea, a nice little set of three. I'm pretty sure these were either 50p or a pound each but either way, great, great for cereal, great for a little bit of a snack. Same again with Ikea, I think these plates were 50p each and as you can see they are a decent size, great for meals, I got a couple you know just in case one breaks and the last thing you want is not having anything to eat off of. And again just some little glasses, I picked these up from Ikea, I'm pretty sure these were 50p or a pound, I'm not too sure, pretty sure they were 50p. If you're ever packing for uni, Go and check out Ikea because they've got great bargains, they've got amazing offers and it's just really sustainable for students. It's not too expensive, you can get offers, bargains. I have a very nice pot from Ikea and it comes with the lid, it's a really decent size and great for cooking. You can't be living off Domino's all year, although to be honest, there is a Nando's outside my accommodation so. <laughs> cooking! Yes, all of the cooking. And something else I thought about this year, I was inspired by one of my friends, is to bring dried food with you and just have it there ready for whenever you need it. So we've got tins of tuna. These are very great if I want to make like a pasta salad or anything like that. We've got multi-packs of soup, dried pasta packets. Got some teriyaki sauce reduced because you know I love me some teriyaki sauce. It is so good. And 75p, you know bargain. My auntie came down and brought me loads of these noodle bowls and when I say they're decent size I mean like they are huge. <laughs> it's a kimchi flavour like chicken noodle bowl and it looks yummy. She said they might be a little bit spicy but we'll see how we get on with those and if not my flatmates can have their own. <laughs> and in here we have some more bits like I've got my green tea here, my matcha, you guys know I love me some green tea, that's very nice. Got some spaghetti, I think this was 75p. You can't go wrong with that kind of price. I have some big bags of rice in here. Great for making meal plans if I want to make loads of bulk food. We have some chopped tomatoes in case I want to make a nice pasta dish. Again, reduced, you know, got to get those bargain prices. <laughs> I've got some pasta, tomato and basil sauce. Great for making pasta meals. Just a little thing, just collecting stuff along the way. It honestly mounts up so quickly. Got my teriyaki sauce because I love my stir fries. Oh, so good. And yeah, that's it. Dry food, pasta, another pasta bag there. Another one of these that make really quickly ones, ready in five minutes, that's what you want. Something to have in your cupboard. It's quick, it's easy, it's there. Got some soup as well, cream of tomato. So yeah, I'll be sorted if I have like an emergency lockdown and I can't get out of the house. So yeah, that's being very prepared. <laughs> We made it to the end. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a little 
dash of inspiration. If you have any questions and you'd like to ask me, please leave it in the comments below. Please give this video a like and please subscribe so we can make more content. So, people, we are here in my final days at home before I move to Essex. Ha! <laughs> Can't believe I'm gonna be moving this time next week. It's crazy. I'll be filming my moving vlog as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I can't wait to meet everybody. <laughs> it is gonna be a blast. I can't wait to drink my wine. And thank you so much for joining me on my journey so far, and the next time everybody's gonna see me is I'm gonna be in Essex. <laughs> it's very exciting. And on that note, arigatou gozaimasu, kanpai!